Ladies and gentlemen, if my electric current kills, then I deserve to be its victim myself. Nikola Tesla was one of the most brilliant minds to ever live, and his genius inventions powered the technological revolution that transformed our world. While discussing this mad scientist, Joe Rogan let it slip that Tesla revealed a terrifying secret before his death, involving contact with aliens, mysterious technologies, and the unexplored field of ancient science. What did Tesla reveal before his death, and could it really change everything we know about the universe? Get ready to be amazed as we explore a chapter in history they don't teach in schools. These are the terrifying secrets of Nikola Tesla. A message from Mars. On a fateful day in 1989, genius inventor Nikola Tesla was working on his newest invention, the magnifying transmitter, when he picked up some strange signals. The interference lasted only a few seconds, but Tesla knew there was something peculiar about these signals, something otherworldly. For weeks after intercepting the signals, Tesla locked himself in his lab, trying to decode what these signals meant, where they came from, and who sent them. After countless attempts, he finally got it. The reason the signal was so hard to decode was because it didn't originate from our planet. What Tesla had just intercepted was supposedly the first confirmed human interaction with extraterrestrial beings, which he believed originated from Mars. During an episode of the Joe Rogan Experience in 2020, Joe Rogan claimed that before his death, Tesla revealed a terrifying secret. This was a pivotal moment in human history, as it had the potential to challenge our understanding of the universe and the mysterious world that exists outside of our planet. Tesla knew he couldn't keep this monumental discovery to himself, so he wrote a letter containing all the details, how he intercepted the signals, what the signals sounded like, and the cryptic message he believed the Martian aliens were trying to communicate. In the letter, Tesla stated clearly that the message he heard was faint and uncertain, but it was enough for him to believe that he had truly been contacted by intelligent extraterrestrials. However, many people in the scientific community didn't share his convictions. His revelation was met with ridicule, as the world was not ready for such truths. Not only did they reject his views, but he was also labeled a mad scientist, and he even lost his shot at a Nobel Prize because of it. But did Tesla back down from his claims? Never. Even when he faced intense criticism from those he called friends and colleagues, Tesla continued to champion his exploration of extraterrestrial communications, and today the world is slowly warming up to his sometimes outlandish ideas. His theory about the existence of aliens was far ahead of its time, and regardless of what others thought, Tesla believed that humans couldn't possibly be the only intelligent species in the galaxy. He believed that aliens were very real, and that they were trying to establish contacts with the human race. Unfortunately, though, Tesla was never able to re-establish communications with the source of the first signal, tainting the credibility of his first claim even further. But could there be an iota of truth in this story? Or was it all just a fantasy of an over-imaginative scientist? These questions remained unanswered until the dawn of the 20th century, when a new theory began to emerge linking Tesla's signal with a mysterious spacecraft the whole world has been looking for over 120 years. The Black Knight Satellite in the dark pages of history, there are mysteries that may never be solved, and one of them is the enigma of the Black Knight Satellite, a 13,000-year-old alien craft that conspiracy theorists believe is currently orbiting our moon. The origin of this theory can't be traced, and that's because it emerged as a conglomerate of several independent theories. However, outside of the name, these theories sometimes don't have anything in common. Details of what exactly the satellite looks like vary, and even those who agree that it exists can't seem to reach a consensus on its structure and capabilities. But while the description of the spacecraft may be wild and confusing, one binding belief is that the Black Knight satellite is very real. Could Tesla's signal have originated from this unidentified alien spacecraft? A lot of people seem to think so. According to these believers, not only did the Black Knight satellite try to contact Tesla, but it also did it again in 1927. This time it was intercepted by a Norwegian engineer named Jorgen Hals. As the story goes, Hals was experimenting with radio signals in his lap when he noticed something strange. Some of these signals echoed back to him several seconds after the initial transmission had ended, more like a dynamic response system. Hals couldn't believe his eyes. Just like Tesla, he had managed to pick up signals that couldn't be explained. And even today, no scientist has ever uncovered the true source of the signal. However, many of Hals's supporters theorized that the signals must have come from the Black Knight satellite, although no proof of that was ever presented. That's not where it ends, though. In 1973, 
science fiction author Duncan Lunan wrote an article for Spaceflight magazine, and in this article, he speculated that there was a 13,000-year-old alien spacecraft orbiting the moon and that it could have been responsible for the untraceable signals. And although Lunan never mentioned the Black Knight satellite, Many ufologists still took the story and ran with it, taking it as undeniable proof that the Black Knight satellite really existed. However, since no concrete evidence has been provided to support the existence of the satellite, it remains an unproven myth. When he wasn't trying to reach extraterrestrial beings, though, Tesla spent some time studying pyramids, especially the Great Egyptian Pyramid. What he discovered was absolutely shocking. Pyramid technology. Since the dawn of modern science, Scholars, researchers, and historians have been fascinated by the ancient pyramids of Egypt and the mysteries that surround their origins and purpose. During his lifetime, Tesla also studied these structures extensively, believing they were more than just tombs for the pharaohs. He theorized that these massive structures served as energy generators, capable of producing a free, unlimited supply of energy. His theory is based on the fact that the pyramids were constructed using conductive materials like granite and limestone, which were good conductors of energy. In the 1930s, he started conducting experiments on the energy properties of a pyramid. To test his theory, Tesla built a pyramid out of paper and wire, then placed it under a beam of charged particles. Surprisingly, the pyramid started to glow even when it wasn't connected to a power source. Once again, Tesla was more than convinced that it was possible to generate energy from the Earth's magnetic field. It also solidified his theory that pyramids could be used to harness and amplify natural energy sources. So by building a massive pyramid pyramid with conductive materials like copper, and placing it at the right location, he could produce free energy to be used by all. However, as intriguing as this discovery may sound, it's important to note that no scientist has ever verified or replicated the pyramid experiments. Because of this, modern scientists have dismissed the theory as pseudoscience. But alien tech and ancient monuments aside, Tesla actually pioneered a couple of inventions that altered the technological landscape forever. As a matter, one of the most popular discoveries is currently being used in every corner of the world right now. The Alternating Current Throughout his life, Tesla was fascinated with the concept of electricity and how it can be harnessed to make our lives easier. After years of dedicated study, Tesla finally unveiled an induction motor that utilized alternating current in 1887. This discovery was a pioneering breakthrough in modern science, and it's currently incorporated into everything you can think of, from planes to televisions, even to kitchen appliances. But what is this alternating current? And why was this discovery so fascinating? To gain a broader understanding, let us take a deeper look into the true nature of electricity. You see, in its purest form, electricity exists in an alternating state, meaning that the direction of flow changes rapidly. Imagine a river flowing downstream, then upstream, then downstream, and so on, with these changes happening many times a second. During the 1880s, Nikola Tesla and fellow inventor Thomas Edison were embroiled in a current war where each tried to develop the best system for harnessing the power of electricity. Edison, on one hand, was trying to figure out a way to run these currents without changing direction, like in a battery or fuel cell, a form known as direct current. On the other hand, Tesla also began contemplating the best way to harness electricity as an alternating current. But Tesla was more or less alone in this regard. In the mid-19th century, most electrical engineers and inventors considered DC electricity to be the only system with practical use, and they all dismissed AC as impractical. However, the problem with direct current was that it used high voltage, which made it very dangerous, in addition to the loss of power that occurs over long distances. So there needed to be a more effective way to utilize electricity, and Tesla would eventually be the one to figure it out. His interest in the study was piqued when his physics lecturer at the Polytechnic School in Graz, Austria, demonstrated the latest direct current Gram Dynamo, another invention that could also harness alternating currents. It was equipped with a commutator, a device that transferred currents from the generator to the motor. However, after studying the device and the way it worked, Tesla intuitively decided that the commutator was unnecessary and that AC could be harnessed without the equipment. To prove his point, Tesla embarked on a scientific journey, conducting countless experiments in his spare time and studying as much as he could on the nature of electricity. It was the journey of curiosity that eventually led to the invention of the AC motor, which has totally transformed our world. 
Although you may not see it, the AC system is everywhere. This singular invention plays a huge role in the distribution of electricity to homes around the world, and it also contributes immensely to the development in the tech space. But aside from the AC system, did you know that Tesla also pioneered X-ray technology? The shadow graphs? Most people remember Tesla for his pioneering work in the field of electricity and radio, but what we often fail to realize is how wild this man's study was. With over 300 patents to his name, Tesla dipped his feet in several fields, one of which led to the invention of the shadow graph, his version of the X-ray. It was in 1894 when Tesla first started experimenting with the tech when he noticed some damaged film from previous experiments. The following year, German physics professor Wilhelm Röntgen published a report about X-rays, and to this day, the invention is credited to him. However, Tesla was never far behind. As a matter of fact, had his studio not burned down in 1895, he may have actually beat Röntgen to it. However, even after the X-ray was officially invented, Tesla continued his study of the technology, and his consistency led to the development of a high-energy vacuum tube that worked just like Röntgen's X-ray. Using himself as a test subject, Tesla fired up the machine and took a shadow graph of both his feet, with the metal piece of his shoe still visible, as well as another X-ray of his hand as a testament to his ingenuity. However, Tesla's contribution to the world of radiology didn't end there. His wealth of knowledge gained over years of study was very valuable in the early days of X-ray use. Tesla outlined the beneficial use of the newly unveiled X-ray technology, describing how it could be used to find foreign objects in the body, and even spot lung disease. Due to his deep understanding of the field, Tesla was one of the first to describe the cautionary effects of working with X-rays. He noted that prolonged exposure often results in changes to the skin, pain, swelling, and even hair loss. So he outlined the safety precautionary measures that should be taken to minimize the side effects. But that's not where Tesla's influence ends. Most people don't know this, but Tesla also tried his hands at developing military technology the Teleforce. Throughout his life, Tesla was guided by the principles of pacifism, which was why he tried unsuccessfully to develop a weapon that would all wars. This is the Teleforce, or you might know it as the Death Ray, a weapon that may or may not exist, capable of wiping out an entire fleet from thousands of miles away. It may sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, but Tesla believed in the idea, and until his last breath, he kept working on developing this wonder weapon. Some say he finished it before he died, others say he never had the weapon, and the truth about the whole case remains lost behind government cover-ups, classified files, and secrets that may never see the light of day. Tesla's Teleforce was a charged particle beam projector, which the scientist claimed could repel attacks by bombarding the enemy with deadly beams, disrupting their atomic structure, and ultimately taking them down. He believed that this weapon, which he called the Peace Ray, would revolutionize the way countries fight war, and with the brutality the world witnessed in the First World War, it became necessary to find a way of minimizing human casualties in armed conflicts. Tesla believed that the Teleforce would achieve that and more. Imagine being able to wipe out an entire fleet of invading aircraft with just a single weapon. What's more, this weapon could be fired from 200 miles away, so the invading enemy would not even reach the shores of the target nation before they're completely wiped out. While the idea of such a weapon may sound like a fantasy, Tesla believed in the Teleforce with his whole heart, and until he died, he kept telling the world the weapon was coming. But it never came, and even though the FBI stormed his hotel room the moment he died, stealing all his research papers and documents, they've never been able to reproduce Tesla's ideas. Where did the ideas come from? Speaking of ideas, have you ever wondered where Tesla gets his crazy inspiration from? Or how he's able to figure out some of the most difficult scientific mysteries of his time? Well, the answer lies in the fact that Nikola Tesla was no ordinary man. From his early days, he discovered an affinity for books, and he became a voracious reader. He also spoke eight languages, including Serbo-Croatian, Czech, English, French, German, Hungarian, Italian, and Latin. As if that wasn't enough, Tesla also possessed a photographic memory, so he could memorize complete books, and according to his story, he never made drawings by hand, but instead, he worked from memory. He was also a very imaginative fellow, who would spend hours visualizing his next invention in his mind with extreme precision, including all the dimensions to be used during construction. He also claimed that sometimes blinding flashes of light would appear before his eyes, 
followed by visions of things to come. These visions were usually linked to a problem he was trying to solve, or a new invention that he would sometimes envision in realistic details. So, could it really be that Tesla was communicating with extraterrestrial or supernatural beings without even realizing it? That's quite unlikely considering the fact that neither has been scientifically proven. However, throughout his life, Tesla believed he was guided by a voice within him as he built the inventions that have kept his name alive long after he's gone. Subscribers Pick Before we go on with the rest of the story, here's our subscribers pick for today. In a 2020 episode of the Joe Rogan Experience, Joe and American actor Duncan Trussell get into the unknown revelations Tesla unveiled before his death, especially regarding extraterrestrial life and contact with the outside world. Joe Rogan claimed that before his death, Tesla revealed a terrifying secret that continues to astound researchers and deep thinkers even today. It's been 35 years since Tesla received his infamous signals, and although several scientists have disputed that the message he received was actually from aliens, no one has proposed a plausible explanation for the sounds he heard. Could it be possible that Tesla really heard from extraterrestrial beings trying to communicate with our species? Or was he just trying to stretch the limits of our imaginations? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Now let's get back to the video. The Earthquake Machine In 1893, Nikola Tesla unveiled this new invention, a steam-powered electric generator, also known as an electromechanical oscillator. This relatively small equipment functioned as a reciprocating electricity generator, and it worked this way. First, steam is forced into the oscillator, then it exists through a series of ports, sending the piston into a constant up-and-down motion, and thus producing electricity. However, that's not exactly why this particular invention is famous. You see, of the many wild stories Tesla told in his lifetime, the one involving this particular invention may be the wildest. According to a story told by the inventor himself, the oscillator once caused a heavy earthquake, which is quite unbelievable. It was in 1898 when Tesla first decided to test this new invention at his lab on Houston Street. However, as he switched the equipment on, the whole building began to vibrate, leading to massive chaos as everyone assumed it was an earthquake. But how could a small device that was only 7 inches long and weighed between 1 to 2 pounds shake a whole building? Tesla couldn't believe it either, so he decided to test it out again, this time in a half-erect steel building down in New York's Wall Street district. He then clamped the oscillator to one of the beams, and once again, the resulting vibration was so intense that it looked as though the structure would collapse. Again, everyone around thought there was an earthquake going on, and according to the inventor, if the oscillator was clamped to the structure for just a little longer, it could have brought it down. But after the police were called, Tesla had to wrap up his demonstration for that day, and he never publicly tested the tech again until his death. However, even though the oscillator seems like an object of destruction, Tesla found another more productive use for it in the study of Earth's internal structure. The whole idea was that the oscillator would generate seismic waves, which would then be projected underground and reflected back to a receiver by faults or different layers of rocks. By studying these reflected waves, geologists may be able to X-ray the Earth. Surprisingly, modern seismologists still follow this principle. But instead of Tesla's oscillator, they use electromagnetic devices, controlled explosions, or even mechanical pistons to generate pulses of energy, which would then be picked up by a receiver. And with the data, we can generate a model of the geological structure beneath the surface. Modern geologists have Tesla to thank for this innovative approach, which totally changed the way we studied the planet. Free Electricity Nikola Tesla was a man of many dreams, some of which didn't align with conventional science. One of these crazy dreams involved developing a system that could generate electricity without the need for any fuel. Imagine being able to transmit electricity to every home in the world without having to burn fossil fuels and gradually kill our planet. This was a very bold idea considering the fact that this was in the late 1800s when advanced technology was pretty much in its cradle. So. How did Tesla plan to generate this free electricity? Well, from the Earth, actually. According to the model created by the visionary scientist, he believed the Earth possessed an untapped supply of natural electrical charge that could be exploited to generate electricity. So, Tesla set out to build the perfect gadget that would effectively harness the electrical power of the Earth, transforming the planet into one giant generator. But there was a problem. At this point in time, the inventor was holed up in a cramped New York lab, and he needed more space to build the magnificent machine. 
So in 1899, he shifted base and moved to Colorado Spring. This new lab was located on an empty land on Knob Hill, the highest point in the locale. In this new environment, he could safely operate much larger coils and work on all the strange ideas that kept him up at night. But building a machine that could generate electricity from the earth wasn't a cheap venture. Tesla needed money, and he needed it quickly, so he approached John Jacob Astor IV, who happened to be world's richest man at the time, seeking an investment of $100,000. To put that into perspective, that's about $3.5 million in today's money. Tesla offered Astor the chance to become a majority shareholder in the Nikola Tesla company. However, Tesla didn't exactly come clean about where the said money would go. While Astor thought he was primarily investing in Tesla's wireless lighting system, the scientist took the money and dumped it all in his Colorado Springs experiments. This secret project involved building his largest and most powerful Tesla coil known as the magnifying transmitter, the same device that picked up the alien signals. With the magnifying transmitter, Tesla produced artificial lightning and thunder, consisting of millions of volts and discharges of up to 135 feet in length the biggest man-made lightning ever made. To further demonstrate how this new free electricity would work, Tesla placed three light bulbs on the field, 100 feet away from the building without connecting them to any power source. He then placed an electromechanical oscillator, another Tesla invention we'll talk about later in the video, 60 feet from the bulbs. After firing up the magnifying transmitter, the three bulbs lit up, confirming Tesla's hypothesis. But that's not where it ends. The impact of this unforgettable experiment was felt all over town. People walking on the street could see sparks jumping from their feet in the ground. Sparks flew from the waterline towels when touched. Horses in their stables bolted from their stalls after receiving electric shocks through their metal shoes. And even more shockingly, the experiment inadvertently burned out the generator in the nearby El Paso power station, causing widespread power outage. Overall, it's safe to say the experiment was successful, but this was just the first step in the inventor's plans. The observations Tesla recorded in his Colorado Springs lab became the bedrock for the next step he was about to take in his journey to creating free electricity. The move to Wardenclyffe. Although Tesla's time at Colorado Spring was quite fruitful, it was also very short. After spending just a year at the lab, the scientist packed his bags and headed out to an even larger space, where he could finally explore his ideas on a larger scale. This new lab would be located in the village of Shoreham, Long Island, New York. But first, Tesla needed some more money again, so he set out to seek investors willing to invest in his idea. Whining and dining with the rich and powerful at the Palm Garden of the Waldorf Astoria, where he lived at the time. He also hung out at the Players Club and Delmonico's, all in a bid to find someone crazy enough to invest in his idea. One of those men was his old friend George Westinghouse, and although Westinghouse didn't exactly buy the idea, he offered Tesla a loan of $6,000, while also suggesting that the inventor seek out rich venture capitalists like Thomas Fortune Ryan and Henry O. Havemeyer. However, none of these people ever saw the vision Tesla had, and for a while it seemed as though he would never achieve his dreams. That was until November 1900, when he caught the attention of billionaire financier J.P. Morgan. Although Morgan was already sold on a competing technology developed by Guglielmo Marconi, he still decided to take a risk by investing $115 in the project. The deal was that Tesla would build a wireless station on Long Island, New York, with the financier holding a 51% interest in the company. As soon as the money was in, Tesla got to work building this giant edifice known as the Wardenclyffe Tower, a larger model of the magnifying transmitter he worked with in Colorado Springs. His dream at Wardenclyffe was to create a hub city for a worldwide system of 30 wireless plants, sending messages, media content, and of course, broadcasting electrical power. Today, this wireless system has become commonplace, and it's all thanks to forward thinkers like Nikola Tesla, who saw the vision when few people believed. However, his story doesn't end as a fairy tale. In the process of building the wireless station, Tesla had gotten in over his head, and after a while, the money ran out. Once again, he tried reaching out to some of his rich friends, but no one was willing to pump more money into the project at this point. Marconi's system was making waves, sending signals further than any physicist ever dreamed, and he was doing it with equipment far less expensive than Tesla's wireless plant. So most financiers pumped their money into the project, 
and slowly Tesla's dream began to fizzle out. Added to this, the scientist also became the subject of media attacks, as several reports started coming out to discredit his ideas and inventions, a trend that still continues today. As time flew by and financial help stopped coming in, the Wardenclyffe project started losing steam, and by 1911, it was completely abandoned. However, we can't help but wonder how different the world would look now if Tesla was able to finish the Wardenclyffe Tower as planned. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.